There was another music and entertainment sale held recently at my local auction house. This included 250 lots of vinyl records. I did purchase several lots here. I will show two of those in a moment. But first, some of the notable results. Lot 12. Led Zeppelin. Self-titled. Original UK released 1969 on Atlantic. This sold for £850 plus buyer's premium, which at this auction house is 20% plus VAT. So the all-inclusive total cost is 1054 The online catalogue indicated the grade of the sleeve is VG plus and the vinyl excellent. Lot number 28. Ike Quebec, LP, Blue and Sentimental, USA Mono released 1962 on Blue Note. This sold for £440 plus buyer's premium. The grade of the sleeve and vinyl is indicated as excellent. Lot number 48. In my video I posted a couple of months ago, in which I ran through the top 10 albums in my collection based on medium prices on Discogs, my number two was Nirvana, the UK Nirvana, and their second album, All of Us. Lot 48 is their debut album, The Story of Simon Simmerpath, original UK mono released 1967 on Ireland. This sold for £250 plus buyer's premium. It's an all-inclusive total cost here of £310. I viewed this, the vinyl and sleeve were both in excellent condition. Lot number 61. This is a nice lot for anybody who wants to collect 7-inch singles. 150 7-inch singles from the stiff label, mainly all in picture sleeves. These were all graded as being at least VG+, plus. most were excellent. So for £210 plus buyer's premium. Lot number 75 is The Beatles, LP Please Please Me, original UK stereo third pressing 1963 on Parlophone. This sold for £950 plus buyer's premium. There's an all-inclusive total cost of 1178 This uh, particular record was competed for by several bidders. So I did buy several lots at this auction. Uh, some of them were of the, uh, the, you know, the usual suspects, the usual 1980s albums that I always sell at record fairs. However, I, I went into this sale looking for a couple of lots of, of perhaps slightly more obscure records, um, indie, alt, just to make my, uh, my fairs stock look a bit more interesting. So I ended up buying lot 27. Now we can see from the online catalogue, the single image there. There's albums from the, the Triffids, The Clash, The Smiths. And he's, these are some of the other artists in the lot. The lot is of 65 albums. I also bought lot 147. So again, single image in the catalogue. We can see there's a Jesus and Mary Chain album, Elvis Costello. And here's some of the other artists with albums in this collection, 60 albums in the lot. Let's take a look at these. So we can see from the catalogue picture in the first lot there, there's a Triffids album. So a couple of things in particular attract me to this lot. It's the titles of the albums, of course, and the condition. The condition of the vinyl is at least VG+, plus. most are excellent. Some of the sleeves have a little bit of wear on them, but in general they're at least VG+, plus. a couple below, the vast majority are excellent. It's the House of Love. Before I bought these two lots of, to me, relatively 
unusual albums. I did as much research and due diligence as I could. Um, prices of these are all over the place. Anything from £5 up to quite a lot, depending obviously on condition. Remains to be seen at uh, my record fairs how much demand there is for these. At the very least I'll have something a little bit different to all the usual sorts of records that other people are selling. There are two Devo albums. Sold this album before. Several Ben Vaughan combo albums. stickers which I will seek to carefully remove from these sleeves. There's a few Susie and the Banshees albums. This is nice. Hyena. And the Double Live album. Sold this before several times. Now, this is one of the albums I did a bit of research on. I have a copy of Soul Mining in my collection. Lovely album. This particular one includes a 12 inch single as well as the album, which is very nice. So I will probably keep this and I will probably put the album in my collection. Um, in one of my record fairs boxes. It's another the album. XTC. So there's several Triffids albums in this uh, bundle. Several New Order albums. The onion skin sleeve on this is uh, intact. Cramps album. Might keep this one. Not had this prefab Sprout album before. And that's the last one in that lot. So the other lot, see from the catalogue picture, included the church. Again, the records in this lot are all in VG Plus 2 excellent condition. Sleeves largely also VG Plus 2 excellent. A couple have a little, little bit of wear and some tears, but... VG Plus is probably where we are with the sleeves as an average grade. And I would think, looking at this uh, bundle, it's probably the same uh, from the same collection as the first lot I've just showed you. Now, to me, again, some fairly 
obscure titles. I know Fatima Mansions, of course. Um, so as I'm showing these, if there are any albums here that you're familiar with and would recommend, it's a double album, would recommend I, I sit down and listen to, please post a comment. There are several Jacob's Mouse albums. There are several church albums in this bundle. It's an album from Ian McCulloch. Go in the bunny man. of Elvis Costello. That one doesn't include the postcards or the seven inch. Feel good. The flaming groovies. And lastly, in this lot is Talking Heads. So those two lots of sixty five and sixty albums. Average cost of the first lot to me was just over seven pounds, and of the second lot, the average lot cost is just under six pounds. I'm probably okay on that, but we will see. Hopefully, they'll sell, and hopefully, they'll be popular. Thanks for watching.